Alright, hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the audio meters. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. So we're inside of the uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and I'm still using the audio workspace at the top. Alright, so if you want to do that, click on window, click on workspace and click on audio. Alright, so now we have here a sample audio here. We have only uh, audio 2 and audio 3. Alright. And uh, where is the audio meters? Well, the audio meters right here. All right, this one is the audio meters. Cool. So if you play music, all right, this all will also play depending on the uh, timeline here that was playing. All right. So this one we're gonna play depends on this playhead. All right. We'll show you the volumes. All right, right here. So basically, if uh, the uh, information is you know reaching the zero. Uh, it's not good because there's no information that's showing in there, all right? If uh, the good indication is, you know, targeting between negative six, all right? Negative six uh, above that, uh, up, uh, up until negative three, it's still okay, all right? And negative six around this, it's still okay too. Uh, just that it's not, I, I don't recommend you to go to zero because there's no information right there. It's uh, blurry, those sounds, details, all right? And this one, it's probably too low if you're going to do that. Uh, this audio levels right here is good for background music all right if you want to set the music in the background music try to aim uh you know uh aim on this point try to aim somewhere uh, around here all right so yep you can change the uh, audio all right audio gain by the way of the music by hitting the g all right and then you can set the audio gain to negative or to positive by just hold, holding your mouse right now like that okay so let's cancel that in this video, we're going to uh, explore this audio uh, meters, all right? So basically, we'll just show up those, um, uh, show the volume or the meter or the volume of the of, uh, of the music that you're playing in here, all right? So um, there's there's few buttons in here. We have this S, all right, it means for solo. So you're just playing two channels right there, left and right channel. So if you just click on this S, it will only play the left channel, all right? So if you uh, choose the letter S in this one, too, so this one will also play. But if you un uh, disabled it, it will only uh, play the right channel. All right. So probably you will only hear this on the right side of your earphone, uh, right side of your earphone, or right side of the speaker. But if you do this, you're gonna see uh, you will only hear the music or the audio on the left side of your earphone or speaker all right so basically that's how i did and uh right here so if you right click on this there's a few buttons in here all right reset indicators all right let's do that and let's try to play it okay that's how it's gonna happen and then we're gonna do a show valleys okay uh we'll gonna uncheck that show valley and let's try to play music all right all right now valleys okay i'm gonna show valleys again let's see do you see this line? All right, that's the valley. Okay, that's the valley. All right, it's like the uh, uh, the uh, down or the uh, uh, the base of the uh, of the music in there, the audio. All right. So if we uncheck that show valleys, there's no lines anymore, as you can see. All right. So if you want to turn that on to make sure that if you're targeting this as your low low point. All right. Uh, low point volume or right, you can do that too all right let's try to play that music again right here all right next is we have these show color gradient all right so basically uncheck that this what's going to happen as you can see the gradient is like hard color and like if we're going to check that it smoothens the color all right <laughs> smooths the color it's like fading the color in and out and then show gradient no right that's how you do it <laughs> All right, so um, all right, solo in place. Okay, solo in place is already highlighted right there. All right, next one would be these DV range. All right, so we can change the DV range. It's at EU. All right, let's go and start with here. The DV range is 120, 96, 72, 60, 48, and 24. So basically, 48 is a good range because you will see those zero and negative six. But if you go to 120, this is what's going to happen. As you can see, 0, 2, 108. Let's try to play it. All right. So it's like, as you can see right there, that's 120 dB range. Let's go with 96 dB range. That's with the 96 dB range. Let's go with the 72 dB range. All right. All right. As you notice, this numbers changes. All right. 72. 
dv so 66 and then 72 right go hit uh 16 all right 54 to 60 right here and let's go with 48 there you go 42 then 48 all right that's the maximum 24 21 to 24 right here all right so it's 120 108 to 120 right here so basically that's it the dynamic picks all right and static picks all right so it's how to use so basically we go to 40 that's good here right here and then let's click on show color gradient and show valleys all right okay i don't want to show valleys anymore all right so cool uh, so you can see it's speaking right now there so to adjust this click on g here and then uh let's set it to negative let's say negative five all right and then see if it's gonna pick all right right here is just hitting the uh negative six something all right i'm gonna increase it one more time for about negative four so to increase the volume right really all right i think it's a good sign for me all right it's a good 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 right here all right all right so basically that's how you use your audio meters inside adobe premiere pro all right well thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video